What's up everyone, George Lehman here with MuscleMascus.com um, Probably a few times a week, someone messages me on Facebook or sends me an email Weighs anywhere between 140, maybe 200 pounds, varies quite a bit, you know, considering their height But they're, you know, an average size, and they've been training for a few years And they want to ask me questions about steroids and stuff like that Because, believe it or not, they're taking them have been taking them for months, if not a couple years now, and they're wondering what it is someone like me, or a pro bodybuilder, or a pro powerlifter, or something like that, might take in order to be at the level they're at. They're wondering what they're doing wrong with their cycle, that someone else is doing right, in terms of doses, or compounds, or stuff like that. Typically, um, I ask them what they take, and I find out that it's more than a lot of pro lifters might use. Now obviously, what people take varies greatly, incredibly. Some people might be able to handle an, an incredible dose, some people might take almost nothing. However, they're taking a decent dose to have accomplished things that they could have easily accomplished naturally in a matter of months, if not a couple of years. Um, so I want to make a video just discussing, there's this huge myth behind so many people saying, oh, you know, to lift this amount of weight, you need, like, at least this. I always see, oh, if, if you're going to be ripped, you have to be taking, like, Trin and Anavar. That's the only way people get ripped. Or if you're going to lift this much, you have to be on this many grams of this or some crap like that. Not the case at all. There's The real myth about steroids is that you have to take a shitload of them to get a result. The truth is, you can accomplish a ridiculous amount without taking anything. You can get very, very big and very strong without taking anything. Um, so if you were to take even small amounts of other things, you would see exponential results. Now what a lot of people do is they start taking the drugs before they know how to train, before they know how to eat, etc. And they end up getting very, very, very poor results from that. The truth is, it is the diet, it is the training, it is the intensity you bring and the knowledge you have that makes the difference. Because obviously you could take a shitload of drugs, you could take more drugs than anyone in the fucking world has, and still weigh 130 pounds if you only eat to weigh 130 pounds. You could take a shitload of drugs, have your diet perfect, and not be nearly as big and strong as you could be if you train properly. You know, you, you really have to factor in training and diet and stuff like that when talking about doses. Because obviously it is not the doses that make people really, really strong or really, really big. Because if it was, there'd be a lot of people who just took those doses. There are a lot of people who take tons of gear and they don't get nearly as good of results as say let's let's use a, a person on steroids using tons of steroids and other drugs to get really really lean for a bodybuilding show versus a natural lifter who's just training very hard eating perfectly and doing cardio and stuff like that the person doing cardio the natural lifter could come in even leaner than the other person and oftentimes they actually will believe it or not because oftentimes people will mess up the drugs that they take, even for a bodybuilding show, end up holding more water than they should be and stuff like that, or relying too heavily on drugs so they eat too much so they don't even come in as lean as they could. But this is besides all of that. The fact is, you do not need a bunch of drugs to be strong. You could use 250 milligrams of tests and never use more tests than that, and a very low dose of something else, sometimes, with a very low dose of orals, and lift a huge amount of weight. It is absolutely not about taking grams and grams and grams of shit. Not to say that some people don't, but it is not about that. And the truth of the matter is, the stronger and bigger you can get naturally before using anything, the stronger and bigger you can get with it. If you can figure out how to bench 400 pounds without using any drugs, imagine what you could do if you could times your testosterone by 20 and then add in four or five other hormones. See what I'm saying? That's the real key to all of this. It isn't a certain dose that's going to get you to a, to a certain size and strength. It's training knowledge, it's diet knowledge, and obviously genetics. But it sure as shit isn't your dose of whatever compound you're taking. Because if you train wrong and you eat wrong, it doesn't fucking matter. So which is more important? Which is more important? If you can deadlift 8 or 900 pounds taking less than a gram of total gear, then is the guy who weighs 150 on 3 grams doing himself any service? Is... is or is he just sort of wasting his time by not having his diet and his training better? So to everyone who might want to ask me what cycle is, you know, what's, what's the reason that like someone lifts this and you lift that? Well, it sure as shit isn't the dose. I'll tell you that shit. It sure as shit 
is not the dose of things they're taking. Maybe the fact they've got better genetics, trained for much longer, know much more about training and staying injury free, uh, are able to get more intense than you, eat better than you, etc, etc. But probably the smallest factor out of all those things is the things that you can take in pill form and inject yourself with. Because anyone can do that, and it's actually not very expensive at all. Um, so that is my advice on that. It's about the training and diet, it is not the dose. I could do something on a very low dose that someone else could take 8 grams and not do. And you could say that's genetic, but honestly, it's really training and diet related. Unless their genetics are far, far, far below average. You know what I mean? The average person can get very, very, very big and very strong by most people's standards naturally. So, a little bit of drugs should be able to take you a long way. If you're using a lot of drugs and not getting very far, you're fucking up really hard. As always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out MuscleMasochist.com for approved apparel, online coaching, and stuff like that. And stay tuned for more. Peace. Wow,